All right, guys, I'm super excited to talk to you about this very little thing here because this solved a massive issue for me and I believe will be very useful for a lot of filmmakers and photographers. This is one of the Colari magnetic clip-in filters for Sony E-mount full frame. But if you're not a Sony user, don't leave just right then because they do a lot of filters for Nikon Z-mount and Canon RF. Let's not waste any time. It's actually pretty hot, so I'm going to remove that hoodie and get started. The microphone. Cool, we should be good. And let me show you how this works. It's actually pretty simple. You're just going to grab the filter and I'm going to grab here a Sony S7S III. Take off the lens. Obviously, you want to make sure you're not in a dusty or sandy environment. So don't take the example of me being on the beach. There is no wind today, so I should be fine and not get any sand on my lens or my sensor. Here, I've just removed the lens and I'm going to insert very gently the filter here. The good thing is that it's magnetic. So as soon as I'm going to let it go, it's going to clip and clip back in and that's it, we are ready to shoot. But now if I want to take it off, all I need to do is remove the lens obviously and I'm going to take that a little triangle, basically like a guitar pick, insert it under and that's it, it's unclipping and removing the filter. Colory sent me those filters to review. Please note that they are not paying me and have no say before I publish this video. I've got here the Mist with a 1 8 strength, the 1 8 Mist 3 stop ND, the 1 8 Mist 6 stop ND, and the 3 stop ND. I've spent the past couple of months playing with them and I'm super happy with my experience so far. You may wonder what's the point of these filters. You may already have screw on filters for your lens or even a matte box with a full filter kit. So hold on, I will explain why this will always be in my camera bag from now on. To get started, this is how Philip from Color Vision explained those filters to me. The clipping filters have the advantage of being a one size fits all solution. Because they fit in within the inner mount of the camera, you're able to switch between a selection of lenses without having to think about step up rings or anything like that. You can't stack clipping filters but you can use them in tandem with front end less filters. Optically speaking the clipping filters perform just like our lens filters because they use similar glass. We designed them to be incredibly close to having a mathematically perfect optical performance. So now let me show you how I'm using those. Let's first grab one of my favorite lenses, the G Master Sony 12 to 24 2.8. I love it because I'm a huge fan of super wide angle. This one has pretty much no distortion for vlogging it's perfect. It gives that extra field of view when in tight spaces or even trying to make any space bigger like when filming or photographing real estate. It's also super sharp but one thing that stopped me from using this lens in the past is the very large front end element and the non-removable lens hood. You actually can't use screw-in filters on that lens. I also tried to fit my matte box with a ring adapter that goes around the lens hood but not only you can see the edges at 12 mm it sits too far from the front element. It just doesn't work. Therefore, I would either shoot with a way higher shutter speed than I'd like or have to close down the aperture, which means I would often decide not to use that lens on higher hands projects. But thanks to Colari, all I need to do is just choose the filter I need, clip it in, and I'm good to go. I haven't had that many opportunities to film underwater since I had the clip-ins, but the few tests I've made have been very satisfying, and I honestly don't have anything to complain about. The filters are doing exactly what they are supposed to do, no visible color shift or weird flaring, it produces a beautiful, clean image. Okay, now I know it's maybe a more isolated type kind of use, but let's say you only have two VNDs, a 225 and a 629. But now you decide you want to use a mist filter for a specific shoot. So you've got a few options. Let's say you can either buy two VNDs that are doing mist, so the 225 and the 629, both mist version. Now with the Colari clipping mist, I would only need the mist one and could still use the VNDs I already have. I would therefore only need one extra filter instead of three. And we all know that NDs are not that cheap, so why not save a little bit there? Despite the fact that I really like using the clipping filters from Colorid, there are a few imperfections. One of the very first things I started seeing was some black patterns were appearing when closing down to F9 and below doing a shoot with the mist filter. I think the mist filter is made of small particles within the glass and that's maybe why when stopping down from F9 to lower, you could see those particles appearing on the screen on the final image. However, you can't see those particles from F28 to F9.
Another thing that I think is not an inconvenience, but still you require some extra attention when fitting in, as you really don't want any dust to get on the sensor. So guys, let me know in the comments if you see yourself using those filters. I have a confession to make. The Miss Diffusion 1.8 hasn't left my Sony S7S3 in the past two months. I not only like the look it gives to my videos, I actually love the look it gives to my photos. Softening just a little bit the highlights and the roll off, giving that small, hard to describe, dreamy, but retro as well and quite sharp vibe to my photos that I love. Thank you to Color Revision for sending me those filters to review. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comment below. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumb up and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.